Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly, because I know you just didn't count out cash. $4,000 to him. I know you didn't. You, 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 do you even have a bank statement saying you withdrew from your bank $4,000? Show that. Today, 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 baby, we have my boy, my homie, <laughs> up church. He's saying, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're going to see what this is about. If Has he decided that he going to give in to the son of gun, the HDC? <laughs> Oh, what's the dealio? Y'all asked for this reaction. And you know when you subscribe, put your requests. I oblige. Period. Yo, I'm from Marka TV. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for subscribing. And to all my ride or die. Hey, thank you for always tuning in and coming back to back to back, baby. I love y'all for real. Let's get into this thing. Like a chicken wing. Eat that baked chicken, man. Yo, you know this gonna take a minute. You thought I was gonna say sorry about something? <laughs> See, I told y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. You thought I was gonna say sorry about something? <laughs> this video is probably gonna make some people unfollow me. If you do unfollow me, I don't want you here anyways, so don't bother writing a whole big ass novel about it. I know you want this like big beautiful exit where I pretend where I give a fuck, but I'm not an actor and I didn't hear no one say click action, so. Eh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty much at this weird spot in my career. How do I explain this? How do I know how to explain this? If my career was a pregnant woman, like I feel like I have all these ugly babies, like hundreds of ugly babies trying to suck my titties. All these ugly babies. That's, that's yeah. While the pregnant ladies just like throwing formula, like here's some formula, and they're like, no, we want to fucking get it. Why am I telling you this? What? Because it's fucking fascinating and weird. It's weirdly fascinating. So what inspired <laughs> me to make this video was yesterday, a kid asked me on Instagram where you do the questionnaire thing. He was like, how do you deal with being picked on all the time? I said, well, I don't get picked on in real life, so it don't matter. So then I sat there for a good five minutes. Just thinking about what the kid asked me. And like, what was going through the kid's head? What was he expecting my answer to be? And then I was like, dude, I'm at a weird point in my career, bro. <laughs> like a what? weird spot, for real. Because in my life, wow. to me, I'm regular. I drive a 79 Bonanza to the gas station. I hang out with the same friends every weekend. I text my mom every day, say, hey, you need me to do anything for you? And she'll say yes or no. I go to work, do my job, and I pay my workers on Friday. The extra time that I have is just like everyone else. It's either for me or for my old lady. And trust me, I know yeah. a lot of people follow me because I am just regular. You know, I mean, especially in a fucking world where everything's extra as fuck. And me being the person yeah. I am, I, I'm saying this stuff because I'm documenting it. I want to go back and look at this one day. Because, I mean, in a sense, it's a social experiment that I'm actually going through. I mean, essentially. Exactly. I'm praying for that kid because I. I hope he's not getting picked on because for him to ask a question like that, how do you deal with people picking on you? A lot of people don't know as I was growing up and some part of my adult life, people would always pick on me, period, in the church, at the playground, when I was a kid, in the church as an adult. You know, and if I wasn't in a place where I was and am now, even further now, that can mess with your mentality, your mental state, seriously, with people, not just one person picking on you all the time, a collective of people, you're talking about groups of people, cliques of people picking on me I'm not lying I'm, I'm telling you the truth that's why I'm gonna write my book the book will be coming out this year cuz I'm gonna 
gonna write it. It's, it, I'm telling you, and it's coming out this year. This year, I've been holding all this stuff in for what a church did to me. And I know this may not have anything to do with what my homie is saying right now. But when he said that part about what do you do about people picking on you, you know, it's a serious matter. Even people pick on you in real life, and they doing him even, but they were doing it with me in person. But him, he's um going through it on social media. To me, it may not be in real life to him, but it it's the state of mind of a person. They they take it in as it uh, is reality. Because it's being done, period. Whether it's in person or on social media. Just my thoughts. Essentially, this YouTube channel is the life of somebody from a nowhere town who dropped out of high school, was a painter, and ended up being a really fucking big independent artist. Not to mention, come on, bro. Look at the times we're living in. Look what the television's doing to society. Mm -hmm. Look what I look like. Look what I sound like. Look where I came from. Exactly. I became... A fucking hip hop artist. What are the fucking chances? I mean, and that's something you can't go to college for. So, yeah, I'm gonna document this shit because it's bizarre exactly. and interesting. Now, a lot of y'all don't need to watch this video, but a lot of you do need to watch this video because there are some people that follow this page that are a tad bit too entitled, mm. and you do need a reality check. So, like no. last week, <laughs> somebody wrote me this huge comment on how they have to unfollow me now. They're very sorry they have to, but they have to for these set of reasons. What they fail to understand is there is no part of me that gives a shit if they stay here or not. I'm on this camera for people who are interested in what I'm doing. That's why it's called YouTube. But lately with me, people feel so entitled that it's fucking cringe, dude. It's like people are like, hey, here's the list of stuff that I don't like that you're doing. Here's the things, the stuff to say. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't aware that I was taking orders. Go fuck yourself. And I know a lot of Creek Squad feels the same way. I see the comments. You know why? Because any normal fucking level-headed person knows that this ain't normal. And to be real, the level I'm at right now is a level where a lot of motherfuckers dip out and never come back. Especially when you've been through some of the crazy, bizarre, almost non-believable shit that I've been through. To a lot of people, it wouldn't be worth it. They'd be like, fuck this. But I'm on a mission for people like me exactly. who come from places like where I come from. Exactly. So it makes me happy to go through this shit and come through the other side because it gives people hope for whatever the fuck they're going through. If yes. they can watch me go through it, then they know they can go through it. <laughs> Absolutely, up church. I totally agree with him because of the simple fact people think, some people, they dictate in your comments how they feel about you personally on what they see on the screen and then they take what they may have heard from around the neighborhood or around the city and they combine them things and there you go your comment <laughs> serious get out of here for whatever the fuck they're going through if they can watch me go through it, then they know they can go through it. Not only that, all the situations I've been through are on the internet for everyone to see. So if anyone ever questions it, go back and look. It's there. I've had chicks date me that are musicians. They got me to write them hit songs about having sex. And then got on the camera and was like, damn, he tried to have sex with me. Who the fuck you think we wrote the song, dummy? I've jump-started numerous careers. Wow. Out of money out of my pocket for somebody else. Never asked for no money back. And then they turn around and they're like, fuck him. And then when I'm like, dude, why'd you do that? Then they get back on the internet and they're like, I'm sorry. Or what's her face? <laughs> it made it to where I had to cancel a fuck ton of shows. All because I refused to have sex with her, bruh. Could you imagine wow. being in court with someone you barely know that you rejected? And they're in court looking at the judge going, 
He has dead bodies in his yard. Him and his friends fucking kill people. He has an underground torture chamber at Ghost Ranch. And starts crying. <laughs> Bro, put yourself in those shoes. You're in a courtroom with a bunch of cops, a judge, in the middle of this fucking city. And this fucking crazy person is telling everyone in the courtroom, you've murdered multiple fucking people. Telling the judge that you've built a underground facility where you torture people. Wow. And it's underground so no one can hear it. Unbelievable. Or when people need vehicles and I'll give them brand new vehicles and then they ride around in the vehicle that I... People just... What in the world? Where do they come up with this stuff? I mean, really. Come on. What? They, people don't think what they're doing to people's character. Why, why are you lying about these things? Why? Why? I don't understand. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused, y'all. I bought him talking shit about me. Full-grown men drawing pictures of my face. Trying to send it to me. When I don't see that they're trying to send me something, they get mad. And go on this tangent for a week where they're like, Fuck him! Or even up to recently with the fucking... The, um... Oh, God damn it. The <laughs> fucking heavy-duty guy. Dude who has 484,000 subscribers. And he's online lying... Saying he gave me four thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm glad you pointed out his subscriber count because before all of this, before he came after you up church, he had five hundred fifty one thousand. He has lost what? A lot. <laughs> what sixty seven million? I mean, 67 <laughs> 67,000. <laughs> yeah, why would you do that? Why would you go through all of that? I guess you thought you were going to gain 67,000. But instead, you lost 67,000. Why put yourself... I don't, I don't understand people. Like I said, people clout chase, and when it has the opposite effect, boom, they shattered. Duh. You didn't give me $4,000. <laughs> you know you didn't. Why the fuck would you say that? And if you did, I think me and everybody else watching this video wants to see proof of you giving me that. You have to have a receipt of giving me $4,000. Exactly. Whether it's cash app, check, fucking written agreement, literally anything. And look, I know it's going to hurt some of you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly, because I know you just didn't count out cash. Four thousand dollars to him. I know you did. You, you, you. Do you even have a bank statement saying you withdrew from your bank four thousand dollars? Show that. You, you have to have something. <laughs> no receipts. No truths in it. Your fans' pride or whatever, but he don't have that, y'all. Because that did not happen. This badass, heavy-duty cowboy you guys <laughs> think is a fucking cowboy has been harassing my producer, Stoner, for six months. Stoner is a very chill, very respectful, wow. very humble producer that is a family man that has three kids. Wow. You're blowing his fucking phone up over and over from different numbers. Stoner's never done bad business a day in his life. Ask any of the artists that work with him, like Jelly, Lil White, uh, fucking Demon Jones, Tech Nine, Adam Calhoun, Dizzy Wright. I mean, the fucking list goes on. Stoner don't even like the internet shit, dude. He usually stays off of it. But it's sad as fuck that this man had to stop what he's doing to make a reply to you. 
So before I show you this cold hard truth that you're about to see, just remember he come out to the camera and flat out told y'all that I have 4,000 of his dollars, didn't he? He did. Here we go. I wanted to uh, bring some information coming from Stone Baby Sounds because he had made a response revolving around the heavy duty country situation and had this to say. This dude is so desperate for attention, never signed with him. We signed a basic agreement for me to produce five songs. He paid half of the agreement and received four out of five songs and has harassed me nonstop the last six months. All because Ryan didn't want to write his songs for him. Let's leave this dude in the past. Sound familiar? Wow. Another dirty vampire baby trying to suck some titties that don't belong to him. <laughs> but here's my thing. You looked at 484,000 people that follow you all the time for the truth. And you lied directly to their face about something easily debunkable. If you'll lie about something small, what the fuck else will you lie about? I mean, damn, dude. Somebody who claims to be pro-American and covers news that involves our whole country, and you over here lying about giving somebody $4,000. I don't respect you anymore. Hell, I should have wow. known something was up when you were at my house and you came there without a vehicle. I was like, well, you can borrow my Mustang. And you're like, well, I can't drive a six speed. So I was like, okay, well, here's my automatic truck. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. I see all this shit. And then I'm like, people have the audacity to be like, man, you're changing. No shit. You just act like you've gotten a lot meaner. <laughs> you don't say. Well, you see fuck face in the comments who's delusional as shit. Normal people out here really don't like when strangers try to suck their titties dry. Not everybody lives in fucking lollipop land. And dude, some of the comments involving this dude are bizarre. I've seen people being like, dude, you guys are fucking like best friends. No, the fuck we wasn't. The fuck you think a best friend is? You think everybody you stand beside for two seconds is going to be your best friend? You're going to get robbed a lot. Man, this exactly. one comment he had in there on his page made me go roll a fucking blunt. This one <laughs> motherfucker said, man, I was really hoping to see that collab between you two would have been super dope. <laughs> Are your fucking ears broke? When the fuck makes you think I want to do a collab with something that sounds like this? What the hell is wrong with you? Hiding in place is cruel. Broken banks, jacked rates, keep them kids in school. Ask the bartender for a smile and a line. Never thought a beer without a mask could be a crime. God damn. Fear from the nation, total escalation. Yeah, I'm still smiling with the lip of Copenhagen. COVID don't spread down south in the country. Roping on my horse, black hat, looking punchy. Yeah, I'm totally gonna stop everything I'm fucking doing for this guy. Yeah, so when you ask me, am I changing? The answer is yes. If you're gonna sit here and tell me I'm unfollowing you because you don't, let's go, Brandon, then I want you to fucking leave. You're gonna make me dumber staying here. What do you expect <laughs> me to fucking say? When I wake up in the morning and I got some fucking fake cowboy in the woods by the interstate being like, I need to know some answers about some other guy. Answer these questions even though you're not the guy. It appears Mercy said fuck the police. Did you know about <laughs> this? I don't fucking care, dude. I care about the motherfuckers in my house, the motherfuckers in my community, and the people I meet in real life. I like right. living in real life. It's pretty fucking nice. If you want to stay on the internet and let's go branding everyone to fucking death and make statements with your capital letters on your signs while you argue because someone has capital letters on their signs, then go for it, dude. We're not the same person, which is why I don't hang out with you. I don't fucking like people like you. So please, if you're one of these people, there's the fucking door. I live out here with real people, not to in the fucking la la land. <laughs> Good God. You know, you should probably change your fucking name since you can't drive a six speed. How the fuck are you gonna call yourself heavy duty when you can't even fucking drive a six speed? <sighs> well, there you go. Oh, by the way, to everybody who was following me that was like, man, church, can't believe this. Totally unfollowing now. Yo ass ain't staying neither. Get the fuck out of here. I hate cancel culture. No, you don't, you fucking diva. Did I forget anything? Oh, yeah. I seen the video from 2014 where you're like, Look, everyone, I'm sure it's gonna be fucking inward. Well, here's your updated video, you clickbaiting bitch ass nigga. <laughs> now go learn how to drive a stick shift. Heavy duty. Oh, man, I can't stop clapping. 
my boy, Church. Boy, y'all know he don't play. You troll him, he trolling your ass back. I learned how to drive a stick shift. He trolling your ass back, man. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yo, as always, in the description box below, you will see his link to his channel. We're trying to get my boy to 3 million. Yo, and before you head over there, make sure you subscribe because when you do, put your request and I apply. Put your request and I apply. Yo, I got to get out of here. I, I, I took up a whole lot of your time. <laughs> and I apologize, man. I still, I do. For my TV signing off. Peace. And I'm out.